From the Lineweaver Wealth Watch Center, this is the Financial Quarterback. Hi, I'm Jim Lineweaver, your financial quarterback since 1993. You know, September and October were very volatile months for the market, but it seems like things are getting a little rosier. But we thought it would be really important to bring in our portfolio manager, Chad Roop, to help shed some light on the market. So, Chad, what's going on out there? Thanks, Jim. Great to be here. It has been a challenging year uh, for investors so far, and certainly this quarter. Both stocks and bond prices have seen a downturn with the S&P 500 index recently hitting correction territory. And the Bloomberg Aggregate Bond Index now negative for what could be an unprecedented third year in a row. Now, if you take out the largest tech-oriented stocks, the Magnificent Seven, most indexes are flat to down for the year. And keep in mind, those seven stocks make up about 30% of the S&P. And despite the market's volatility, the recent pullback in large quality U.S. stocks presented an opportunity. Many U.S. corporate earnings have surprised to the upside, and analyst earnings estimates have steadily been revised higher since July in a lot of these sectors. Exactly, Jim. Earnings have been quite robust on the hills of a resilient economy and strong labor markets. We think this trend may continue into the new year. The Federal Reserve may also be a potentially underappreciated source of support for U.S. quality stocks. You know, the higher for longer interest rate sentiment prevails. We think the Fed's largely done hiking interest rates and are in a wait and see position, further potentially benefiting stocks and bonds. And historical trends offer a glimpse into some potential outcomes. So usually with a negative September and a positive overall market return, it signals a positive fourth quarter uptick. And these have usually averaged about 3.8%. So conservatively, a negative September and a negative year-to-date market return during the same period is only 0.1% on average return. So according to our research in late October, it was time to return to quality stocks and decrease the European exposure. So in the first week of November, this proved to be beneficial as the market improved 7% between our recommendation of a change to our portfolios between October 27th and November 10th. Yeah, that's right. We do think high-quality U.S. equities could continue to offer value into the new year uh, and through the end of the year. With yields north of 5%, uh, in most cases, bonds are attractive as well. We think uh, that having a team of seasoned financial professionals actively managing your portfolio to help mitigate losses and capitalize opportunities is also essential for success. Yeah, that's a great point, Chad. So you want to be selective when choosing a financial professional. After all, it's more than just numbers on paper. This is the investment that could help you take your dream vacation or maybe pay off your grandkids' college education and make them set up for a very successful financial future. So for a limited time only, our advisors are opening their schedules to offer a complimentary, no obligation meeting. So if you want to be prepared to weather the uncertain times that are likely to come, call us today. We're always here to help.